Thank you for visiting my channel. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified of future presentations. Our topic for today is the last clear chance doctrine in tort law. Consider this situation. A pedestrian is crossing the road when the traffic signal is red for him, and a driver who is also distracted hits him. Both the pedestrian and the driver were negligent, but the driver had the last clear chance to avoid the accident by stopping the car. Under the last clear chance principle, the driver may be held liable for the accident even though the pedestrian was also negligent. And this, an employee is working on a scaffold several stories up without proper safety equipment. He is reckless because he continues working despite lack of proper safety equipment. The employer is aware of the safety violations but fails to take action to correct them. If the employee falls and is injured, the employer may be held liable under the last clear chance doctrine, as he had the last clear chance to correct the safety violations and prevent the injury, but failed to do so. The last clear chance is a legal principle that applies in cases of negligence. It refers to the responsibility of a person to take reasonable care to avoid injuring others, even if the injured person was also negligent. Under the doctrine of last clear chance, the defendant may be held liable for the accident even if the plaintiff was also negligent, if the defendant had the last opportunity to avoid the accident but failed to do so. The doctrine is based on the principle that a person who has a last clear chance to avoid an accident has a duty to take that opportunity, and if he fails to do so, he is responsible for the consequences. The principle of last clear chance is often used in personal injury cases to determine liability and apportion damages. It is important to note that the application of this principle varies by jurisdiction and the exact requirements for proving the last clear chance may differ depending on the facts of the case and the applicable law. One case where the principle of last clear chance was applied is the case of Raul of Russia versus People. Speaking through Justice Leonen, the Supreme Court held, The doctrine of last clear chance does not apply when only one of the parties was negligent. For the doctrine to apply, it must be shown that both parties were negligent, but the negligent act of one was appreciably later in time than that of the other. It may also apply when it is impossible to determine who caused the resulting harm, thus the one who had the last opportunity to avoid the impending harm and failed to do so, will be held liable. The doctrine of last clear chance contemplates two possible scenarios. First is when both parties are negligent, but the negligent act of one party happens later in time than the negligent act of the other party. Second is when it is impossible to determine which party caused the accident. When either of the two scenarios are present, the doctrine of last clear chance holds liable for negligence the party who had the last clear opportunity to avoid the resulting harm or accident but failed to do so. It cites the case of Bustamante v. CA which further explains the last clear chance doctrine thus. The practical import of the doctrine is that a negligent defendant is held liable to a negligent plaintiff or even to a plaintiff who has been grossly negligent in placing himself in peril if he, aware of the plaintiff's peril or according to some authorities, should have been aware of it in the reasonable exercise of due care, had in fact an opportunity later than that of the plaintiff to avoid an accident. If you find this presentation helpful, please hit the subscribe button to receive notification of future presentations. Thank you.